Hello friends. Now we are going to discuss my next important topic in discrete structure that is mathematical induction. Okay. Uh, so first we discuss about the theoretical concept of mathematical induction and uh, then we solve some important question, university co impo important university question. So what do you mean by mathematical induction is? So the process to establish the validity of a general result involving natural numbers. So what are natural numbers? The whole numbers from 1 upwards or in some branch of mathematics 0 might be counted as a natural numbers. So to uh, prove the yeah, or to find out the validity of a general result involving the natural number is a principle of mathematical induction. Here a formal statement of principle of mathematical induction can be stated as follows. Suppose S of n be the math statement that involves some positive integer n equals to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Then S of n is true for all positive integer such that S of 1 is true and S of k plus 1 is true whenever S of k is true. This means that if we have a statement of S of n, so in the first step we put in place of n we put 1 and find out whether the statement is true or not. In the second step we put k in terms of n and assume that that S of k is true. And with the help of this assumption we find out in place of n we put k plus 1 and when using this uh, value of S, k of k, S of k is true, we found out that whether S of k plus 1 is true or not. So, to verify this math, uh, statement by the help of mathematical induction, so there are three steps. Okay, so there are three steps to prove the using, uh, using the principle of mathematical induction. First is basis of induction known as basis of induction in which put in which we find out that s of 1 is true. s of 1 is true means in place of n we have a statement s of n. In place of n we put 1 there and find out whether the s of 1 is true or not. Second, second step in the induction hypothesis we assume that that s of k is true. That means in place of n we put k and then find the assume that that statement is true. And with the help of this assumption in the third step which is called induction step we find that s of k plus 1 is true means instead of n we put k plus 1 and then with the help of this assumption we find out whether the left hand side is equals to right hand side or whether the what is the validity of the statement s of n. So with the help of these three steps we are going to discuss one example okay in which we are using the, all the, these three steps so just basis of induction in which s of 1 is true Induction hypothesis in which we assume that S of k is true. And induction step S of k is S of k plus 1 is true whenever whenever S of k is true for by with the help of this assumption. Okay, so without wasting some more time, we find out this statement. Here the question is show that 1 plus 2 plus up to n is equals to n n plus 1 by 2. This is a very simple question. Okay, and also an important question. So we have to prove this statement with the help of the mathematical induction. So as we know that the, the, there are three steps. So the first step is, the solution is step 1. What is step 1? Step 1 is basis of induction. Basis of induction. In which we put S of 1 is true. So assume, assume n equals to 1 here. So if S of 1 is this whole statement, so in the left hand side, suppose S of 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus up to n is equal to n plus n into n plus 1 by 2. Now we put n equals to 1. So in the left hand side, in the left hand side 1 plus 2 plus up to n in which left hand side n is 1 here and in the right hand side, what is the right hand side? Right hand side is n into n plus 1 by 2. So this will become 1, uh, 1, 1 plus 1 by 2 which comes out to be 2 by 2 or 1. So this is how we find left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this means S of 1 is true for this statement. 
This is the step one. Right? Now, step two. Steps two say that we have to assume that S of K is true. This means we are putting N equals to K here and assume, assume, assume that, that this statement is true. So this statement will become S of K. This becomes 1 plus 2 up to instead of N we put K is equal to K K plus 1 by 2. We assume this statement that this statement is true. That is S of K. Now with the help of this assumption, the step 3 says, step 3 is induction. This, uh, this is a base. See, basis of induction. Second step is uh, induction hypothesis. Induction hypothesis. And the step 3 is induction step. Induction step. In this induction step, we put n equals to k plus 1. So, s of s of k plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus up to instead of k, we, instead of this n, we place k plus 1 is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 becomes k plus 1 k plus 2 by 2 here. Okay. Now, here, this 1 plus 2 plus k plus 1, we can write it as 1 plus 2 up to k, k plus 1. Okay, this k plus 1, before k plus 1 we have k, then the k plus 1. This will become k square plus uh, k square plus 3k plus 2 by 2. By opening this bracket. Now, 1 plus 2 plus k, here see, in the second step, 1 plus 2 plus k is equal to k plus 1 by 2. So, we can substitute this value instead of this. So, here we will become, this become k into k plus 1 by 2 plus this k plus 1, write it as, as it is. And in the right hand side, we have k square plus 3k plus 2 by 2 here. Now, solve this value. Uh, we take 2 LCM. See here, k into k plus 1 plus 2 into k plus 1 and in the right hand side we have k square plus 3k plus 2 upon 2. Now, after solving the left hand side we can have k square plus k plus 2k plus 1 upon 2 which is equals to right hand side here 2k square plus 3k plus 2 upon 2. This will become k square plus 3k plus 1 upon by 2. Here k square plus 3k plus 2 by 2. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this becomes, this will become therefore s of k plus 1 is also true. Or we can say that, that s of n is true for all natural numbers for all natural numbers of value n. Okay, so this is how we solve or we prove the statement with the help of the mathematical induction. So in this video, uh, I discuss one question and in my next video, we are going to discuss some important part. Okay, some important part or you can say some important university question. So keep watching my video. Thank you so much.